What's up, Shmi? Hey. Here we got Chiron Pier Sport. What's up, guys? We're here in Connecticut for day one of Dream Ride Experience. We're gonna see some of the best hyper cars in the world. Uh, we've arrived at Dream Ride, and we have a Pagani Wyra right away. Blue carbon, it's the exhaust, and then it's got the engine in there. This thing is insane. I always love seeing Paganis. It's not often you see them, so. There's a V12, the Ultima, carbon fiber on there, and then Alcantara. And there's the front of the Pagani Wyra. There we go, we got 4GT, the Golf livery on it. And the manual in there. This thing's super cool. And it's obviously, this is a supercharger. And we got old Lambo as well. And then another 4GT that basically matches the first one. Got a uh, Spiker C8 here. This thing is super fancy. And then at the back of it as well. I think we're gonna get a start up in a second here. It's also got that little roof scoop. These things are actually super tiny in person if you see it. It's really not that big at all. There we go. Sounds like. Here we got my favorites. Obviously the Aventador. I absolutely love Aventadors. Nothing but an SVJ and an SV. First time seeing another YouTube car. We got Shmi right here. Four GT. Pretty cool to see this thing. And you can already see a little sneak of what's up there. Yeah, this thing's pretty cool. Now I was waiting outside a gas station just to see some cars and I happened to miss this Bugatti Chiron and a Kongaseg and a Pagani and Shmi. This is super cool. Chiron Super Sport Extreme. It's one of the final Chirons. Obviously this one is the faster one. 300 miles per hour. Well, the back of this Chiron is extended compared to the normal one. So it has these special exhaust here, and this is way longer. And this is all blue carbon, even the engine cover. But yeah, most of these are not extremes. There's only one other one, which is actually here as well. You have the Wyra BC Roadster, which we saw a few times before. This thing's awesome. Big roof scoop that floats. Now we have a one of two Kongaseg Agera XS, which I've been waiting to see forever. This thing is super cool. I love Kongaseg. There we go. It's interior. Here's the second Chiron Extreme that I was talking about. This one's the Pier Sport, so it's more the track focused version. Got the red interior. And this one's also full carbon. Both of the extremes have these stripes that go up them. One in blue, this one's in red. And it's got that special gas cap there. And this one's actually on right now. You have three Kongas eggs here. You got the world record one. World record Regera RS for top speed. Then we have a Regera with white and then it has blue carbon all over it. It's the first time I've seen a Regera. And then the Yesco Absolute, this thing looks absolutely crazy. Oh my gosh. I can't even explain how crazy this thing looks to you guys. And this one just did the world record for zero, 400 zero in kilometers an hour, which is insane. Kongsegg broke their own record. They already had the record with the Regera here and they broke it again. Have a look at that. And then Regera, and then RS. Now here's another good question. Which Kongaseg are you taking? Gera RS, Regera, or Yesco Absolute? Oh, this a Gera RS has played 277 miles an hour while that Camaro's going insane. Now they went into as much detail to make this fast as they could. They threw on these aero discs that make the air go faster across it. And then it also has these. The normal has a big wing on it, which adds downforce, which means the car will be slower. And it's got the orange ghost on there as well. And this exhaust is giant as well. Kind of dirty at the moment. Just came from Monterey Car Week. It's got more fins on it as well. Carbon mirrors. And has these, probably for air somehow. There we go, we got a 
McLaren Senna in black. It's got a bit of carbon on it. And then the famous Senna wing. This thing is super cool. It's active, it goes up and down. And it's got the exhaust in there. And there's that rear profile of this car. It's next to some other cool McLarens. Here we got an Aventador, white wheels, green. We got a R8 as well. And we have a new Revuelto. This one's got matte paint on it, the doors up. We were behind one of these on the way here for a while. I like these a lot though, especially the rear. And this is the best part. We got the Kong Seg opening up. It's crazy how this whole car just opens up. Same with this rear, this whole thing will just open up. And then the doors as well. Here's a look at the interior on the Yesco. Absolute. It's like your traditional Kong Seg interior. A bit of orange in it as well. We need to start up on the Yesco. This thing's crazy sounding. This thing's sounds like F1 cars. Wow! It's crazy. It's revving as well. We got the Jacob and Co. Chiron Super Sport here. I saw this in Monterey Car Week on all the videos. This thing is like an absolute beauty. It looks like a luxury car, but at the same time, it looks like a hyper car. The interior as well. Jacob & Co is like a watch company. I guess the owner owns this car. What a spec. This reminds me of the one we saw at the Audrain Museum, the Veyron. It's like a flip spec of that. This is probably the, my favorite Chiron Super Sport I've ever seen. Look at it. Got a bit of white and blue in the interior and then blue everywhere. We got W16 there in silver, and then check under the wing, it says Jacob & Co there, then the blue logo, and the lights, and then you got carbon down here. Here we have one of the rarest Austin Martins. I think it's called the Voller. I might be wrong, but this thing's really cool. It's got really crazy rims, and then the rear lights are cool as well. I'm pretty sure that these cost like over a million dollars, something like that. Here we got an Austin Martin Speedster. This is like the, the Monza or the Elva. And it has the helmets in the back here and the middle separated. And then you got this and there's zero windshield on this at all. This is basically what, it was, what it's like. The wind will just come along, go straight in your face. That's why the helmet would be very useful for this. And it's got a number on here as well. This reminds me of like a, an old race car. So in the dark we have a Kongseg Jamera, and I think this is the one with 2,300 horsepower, which is absolutely insane. Like literally, most powerful production car ever built. And the doors, straight up. We haven't shown this yet, but we have, just say, a couple more cool cars in here. 750S, you got the Jamera we just saw, and then you got just a couple of the coolest McLarens ever built. Yeah, you can already see some of them. I'll show you all of them. We got a car which is not street legal here in the States anymore. I think they are allowed to have it here as long as they're not driving it. And the reason is right here, no wing mirrors, just cameras. And I guess the US doesn't allow that. This one also has a roof scoop and then a really cool paint job. And this one's super long as well. And then we have another one that has a matching color. So all red McLaren P1, doors match. Then his giant wing. This is one of the three Holy Trinity cars. Super cool. Then we have a red Senna as well. 
This thing's super cool. Carbon on there, and then it has a stripe along here. I love the Senna. And then we have something so much the Speedster. We have the Elva here. This thing is really cool. And then just like the Speedster, has zero windshield. And then it's got cool, probably waterproof interior, I guess. And then one of my favorite McLarens, the McLaren Sabre, one of 15 in the entire world. You don't ever see these, so when you do, it's a big deal. And I think there might be another one here somewhere. But yeah, this thing's cool. This is also an MSO. I think all of them are MSO, but that's the special operations. They do really cool looking McLarens, give them special upgrades. It's crazy the crowd that the Chiron brings. Like, it's been crowded for the past like 20 minutes of people. We're gonna see some of the cars coming in again. We're gonna see the Congus eggs. The Yesco, Regera. These guys are even for a second. We have the world record, Regera RS. We got a Huracan. Something pretty cool right here. We got Chiron Pure Sport, Kongus Egg, Gara XS, Shmi. Hey, Shmi! Hey, back up! Back up. Hey. Yes, go absolutes on its way. Sir. What a car. Pagani Wider right here. And look what we got down there. Little Kongasig action. Here we go, we got McLaren here and then we got the Kongasig. There we go. And then this is sheer on. It's like something at Monterey Car Week here. Probably the closest you can get to it, to be honest. There we go. Kongasag Regera. What a car this is. There we go. We got the Kongasags that are going to park up in a second. The full Ghost Squadrons here. Jamera. Regera RS, Regera, yes, go. Yeah, it's fine so far, yeah. Go. Sick. There you go, we got a cool little photo set up here. Let's get a picture of this. Yeah. That's up, Shmi! Hey. There we go. That's Shmi right there. There we go, guys. You got Shmi right here. Let me get a picture with him in a second. It's on BBS wheels as well. It's pretty cool. Oh, actually. But this color combo looks better in real life. There we go. We just got to meet Shmi off camera real quick. We got to get a, one more look at this Kona Seg before everyone in the whole place is around it. Gara XS. This thing's super cool looking, as always. It's like every Kona Sega looks good, there's none that look bad. Got Shmi going along there in his GT, and then we got a fully carbon fiber 600LT Spider. I wonder how much this option cost, and of course it has to be MSO. I bet you this costs a ton more just because it's MSO. Right here we have one of my all-time favorite cars. 
a La Ferrari. This one's in red. This one's not the Aperta version, but it's still super cool. This thing is really just full of details, and that's why it costs so much money. It's like a great car. It has cool mirrors as well, kind of like Pagani mirrors. Here we got a car here, I think it's called Seguera, the Segera, something like that, the model of it. It has this like wing that I've never seen before. It's like double wing. They like cut the middle part off there and then made it into like a different shape. I also feel like it looks kind of like a luxury car more than an exotic. Now here's an absolute beauty. Have a look at this. Gunther Works Porsche. I don't know a ton about Porsches, but I can tell you that this is a serious one. This one's up in a very high prices, full carbon body, and then a red interior. It's got some nice gauges. This would be a great car here. I'm gonna have to guess that they upgraded engines and stuff on this, so it's probably super lightweight. And then we have another cool car here. This looks like a Diablo. It has no Lambo badges on it. And then has a custom interior, kind of small steering wheel. And it's got these two roof scoops on it. And then it's got the engine in there. Still is a Lamborghini engine. And then it's got the Diablo exhaust. And then we have something that looks like a Ferrari here. I think that's what it's based off of. Super Legera. It's got a manual transmission in there, gated manual. And then the front of it's like a modern version of a Ferrari. I like this a lot actually. It's really cool. It's probably really nice to drive. We got a AMG GTR here. I saw this one on a video getting wrapped. It has like a Miami Formula One inspired decal all on the front and then it has like the full like livery for Miami. Now we have Three Storados here, all slightly different, but these are cool. It's crazy to see that there's actual Lamborghinis like from the factory that are like this, because this is like an off-roader. If I got this, I could take it rallying. This would be kind of a fun car to buy for a YouTube channel just because you can do some insane stuff with it and you don't have to put in a ton of money modding it. Right here we have two special SVJs. These are both 63 editions, which are more rare than the regular SVJ. These ones are here every year. They look really cool though. They have like, they all have these special liveries, both matching just with different colors. Right here we have a red carbon fiber, Pagani Utopia. And it's like just faintly red. You can barely tell that it's red, but if you look really closely, it might not even pick up on camera, but this is red. It's got like titanium exhaust. These flaps that will come up and down. Then it has the engine in there. And then the little thing that opens up so you can open the whole back of this up. And then there's that interior. These interiors, one of the best parts of this car. Here's the front of it. It's got the different lights than the regular Paganis. Now right here, you can finally get one more look at this crazy Chiron Super Sport. I think this is probably the coolest Bugatti I've ever seen. Even online. Like, I've seen plenty of them in pictures and stuff. I think this is one of the coolest looking ones. It's right next to a Pure Sport as well. Bugatti on there. And then you can actually kind of see those stripes from the front kind of fading off the roof. Comes down here. Never get tired of yeah, Jake. Here we have a Bugatti EB110 here. So there's a little tip that I use every time I'm trying to tell what kind of McLaren it is because you know what, there's 720S, 765LT, 750S, which this one is. You can tell because the bumper is always matching the color. Like these are both 7, 750S is here. And then you come over to the 765, you see this little bit that I'm pointing at here is black or carbon usually. So that's how you can tell the difference. Monza SP1 here. If you don't want anyone to come in your car, but you still want a cool car, just take this. 